everyone. Uh, my name's Lane. Um, I'm a local Ewan man. I've grown up in the area, but my mob come from just the next mob over uh, as the Ewan people. We're standing on Darawal country today in the land of the Wadi Wadi people, where the people who lived here. Um, we have families that still live here and still resonate with that identity of being Wadi Wadi. So, um, Wadi Wadi first, Australia second. Yeah? You know what I mean by that? Yeah. They've been here for a very long time. So we can walk around and I can show you beautiful places where they've actually written into the into the landscape, scarred into the rocks, their beautiful movements, their dances, their stories. We told our stories differently, just like lots of different people tell their stories differently. Also, we use fire. Fire is something not unique to Aboriginal. It's exactly, so when we're talking about a cleansing, some people go, what does that mean? I don't get it. Why do Aboriginal people always want to do a smoking ceremony? Well, for starters, it's tradition, okay? That's what we do. When we go to church on a Sunday, there'll be a guy wearing a white hat and he'll have his smoke and his fire too. You go up and ask him, why do you do that? It's our traditions. So we start looking at this a bit closer, okay? <coughs> traditions, it's just what we've always done. So for us, with the smoke, I call this smoke Dumbuk. Can you all say that word for me? Dumbuk. 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 Beautiful. And there's also a couple other words that I like to share. Is the other one is Yalanga. Can you say Yalanga? Yalanga. Yalanga means welcome. So, not welcome as in welcome the country, as in welcome to this event. So if I went to your house, that's a word that would have been used when you stepped into someone's campground, into someone's homeland. They would have said Yalanga. And the other one is Nagambi. Can you say Nagambi? Nagambi. You just learnt hello and welcome. The two basics of language nearly everywhere around the world. Some of you might have just said that for the first time ever, which is crazy if you've born, been born here, your parents are born here, you've lived here forever. It's a really weird concept to think, wow, I've just spoke the language of this land for the first time. A bit funny, isn't it? Now, as I come around, I'm gonna slowly walk this smoke around. We've got a little bit of time. What I'll do is I'll get you all to take a moment, okay? Um, it's very familiar to other practices and that's because where we're grounded here for Aboriginal people we're not in the West, we're in the East. We have more in common with Indian, Hindu, Asian cultures, okay? So a lot of our fire and our smoke, when we do this, we talk to those people and they go, that's what we do. They go, wow, cool. And there's nothing more that needs to be said. But it's also just what humans do because this is the first thing we look for, for human evidence, is fire. We look for charcoal. So. This is a moment, so we're cleansing. The way I best like to describe cleansing, it's exactly the same at home. When we've let our house get too messy, the dishes are piled up, there's undies everywhere in your bedroom, you've got to clean it up, we're cleansing. And guess what? A week or two later, you're going to have to do it again. So you push that reset button. It's a moment to relax, get everything in order. If things are crazy at the moment, you might have to do that twice a day. You might have to do it three times a day. That's what we're talking about when we talk about cleansing. So we're coming here, we're relaxing, we're settling in. So I encourage you all just to take a moment, try not to look at your phones for the next few minutes, just breathe. The smoke is, a, is as much about the smell, the medicinal properties. So as we come around, you should be able to get a little bit of that smell coming through. So we've got our traditional medicines that are embedded in our, um, our leaves. Now we know them as tea tree, eucalyptus oil, etc., etc. But it's amazing stuff that our people always use so just have a little smell don't worry about being a big smoke you don't need a big smoke see the smoke here this is nice and white and clear i can stand next to this all day and breathe this in so this is a safe smoke so for the next couple minutes just try to relax breathe nice and deep you're about to do something really amazing i've run marathons i've run new york i've run singapore i've run the gold coast i know you're about to challenge yourselves your mind your body and your spirits now it's time to take stock relax and have a crack, eh?
So as I was walking around, I was saying some words, and those words roughly translate to the mind, the body, the spirit. So marak muk muk marak and guemul maraj. It's that the free that we always find the symbolic free that we find many places. Birth, death, life. Heaps of heaps of symbolism. Heaps of symbolism. Um, you know, run, sweat, die, whatever you're going to do today. Um, <laughs> symbolism for free. It's really important, um, and it can get you out of that funk of the one, two, one, two. One, two, so um, good luck. Thanks, Red, for inviting us in. Uncle Mackie, perfect time. And we slide Uncle Mackie in. So I've got Uncle Mackie here as well, who's going to come and ice it with the welcome to country. Come on. <laughs> I might just keep walking the smoke around a little bit. There you are, bro. Yep. Thanks, bro.